Hi, I'm Jeffrey Peters with Precision Digital Corporation. And this is the ProView demonstrator that I'm going to use to demonstrate to you the most powerful digital panel meter on the market today. The ProView demonstrator can be set up to act as either a PD6000 process meter or a PD6200 rate totalizer. In either one of those modes, the first thing you notice about the ProView meter is its dual line display. And this is an extremely unique feature to the ProView and also one of the reasons it's so powerful. For instance, right now we're in the process mode and you can see that the first line is displaying the process variable and the second line is displaying some kind of engineering unit. Later on when we get into the rate totalizer, you'll see that I can display, let's say for instance, rate on the upper display and total on the lower display. So the, the uh, Dual line display is also useful for programming because that second line helps remind you where you are in the programming scroll and also prompts you for what you should enter next. So the dual line display is certainly one of the most powerful features on the ProView meter. But let's talk a second about other features of the, the ProView. So for instance, the PD6000 will accept either uh, a milliamp or a voltage input, and that's completely field programmable. It has a nice rugged NEMA 4X uh, front panel. It can be powered anywhere between 85 and 265 volts AC or 12 to 24 volts DC. And most importantly, it has two transmitter power supplies built into it. One of them is used to power the transmitter, and that's 200 milliamps. The second one, if you have a 4 to 20 milliamp output, we can provide 40 milliamps to drive that loop too. So we'll provide power for both the input and the output loops. The uh, ProView also has math functions for flow and round horizontal tanks. And a very unique feature is these three uh, function keys you see on the front panel. And those can be used to uh, for things like uh, resetting the alarms and that kind of thing. There's also the ability to do 32 points of linearization and we have a computer-based program to make inputting those points very simple. We can do square root extraction and really another very useful feature, particularly on flow rate and total, is we can uh, raise the input to just about any exponent the customer might want to do applications like open channel flow. The uh, ProView is available with either two or four relays and four to 20 milliamp output. And for that matter, we have external cards so you can add, add an additional four relays to the ProView so you can control up to eight relays. There is also an RS-232 or RS-485 connector, connection uh, that can be used for uh, serial communications. And finally, uh, the ProView will operate anywhere between minus 40 and 65 degrees uh, centigrade. So let's take a look at the demo here. I'd like to show you a very typical application, which is a level control. And let's say we're controlling level in a sump. And that sump holds 8,000 gallons. And it's controlled by two pumps, a main pump and a backup pump. And those pumps, we would like to have them uh, turn on at 6,000 gallons. And the, the main pump, we would say, turn on at 6,000 gallons and shut off at 1,000 gallons, gallons. And then the backup pump, turn on it at uh, 7,000 gallons and shut off at 1,000 gallons. And the other thing we like is we like those pumps to alternate. So we can set that up in the ProView, in fact, you can set up the ProView so that up to, eight re up to eight pumps can be alternated. But for now, we're just going to do two. And we'll use the other two relays for high and low level alarms. So the way this works is the slide wire here simulates the input. And as the level rises, when we get to 6,000 gallons, uh, one of the relays will transfer and turn. In this case, it's the backup pump that's going to come on first because we have pump alternation going on. And that pump will drain the sump down to 1,000, where it will reset. 
And then the sump starts to fill back up again. And this time, the main pump is going to turn on at 6,000 gallons because we have our pump alternation set up. And now we empty back out again. And the pump shuts off, come back up again, back up pump, shuts off. So that's the typical operation of this system. It just goes up and down as the pumps turn off and on. Now let's say what happens, maybe we get a big storm and the sump starts to fill up. It gets to 6,000. Well, I guess I never reset that, so let me go back down and reset it. I reset that. Now as I come back up again, at 6,000, the first pump turns on, but it's not quite enough to handle the load. And so the level keeps rising to 7,000 gallons where the other pump turns on. And now, now we're okay. We can drain out that sump with two pumps going back down to 1,000. However, <clears throat> what happens now is it really starts to rain, and we go up again, and we blow through 6,000, 7,000. Level keeps rising. We get to 7,500, and that's where our high alarm kicks in. Now, that uh, does something drastic to cause the level to decrease, and we get back down to 1,000, and everything is fine again. Well, maybe it's not fine. Maybe, for some reason, one of the pumps keeps uh, emptying, and the level drops down to 495, where we have one of our low-level alarms kick in. But that situation gets corrected, too, and the level rises back up to where it's supposed to be. So there I've just demonstrated how the, uh, the ProView demo can be used to demonstrate a typical level application using the PD6000 process meter. Now what I'd like to do is to change it over to a PD6200 and show you how it works in a rate totalizer application. So that's very simple to do. Just go over here to the menu button, go up to setup, go into input, decimal point, display, relay, input. So I'm gonna select input and I want to keep it on voltage, so I'll keep that. And now, for total, I'm going to set it up so the total is yes. So we will, we will be displaying total. And that's all I have to do to go from basically a, a PD6000 to a PD6200. Hit enter. Now, decimal point, we won't change that. But we are going to change the display. Because now, what we're going to do is set the lower display to read out uh, total. So right now the big display, though, is, is showing rate, and we'll leave it on rate, but just to demonstrate that you can set it for just about whatever you want, this could be total, grand total, you could toggle between rate and total, you could toggle between rate and grand total, you could display set point one, set point two, set point three, set point four, you could display the high value, display the low value, display the high or low value, and display rate. Let's go back to display rate. Now we're down to the little display, and let's display, we could display units like we were doing before, but we're going to display not rate, well we could display total, grand total, rate total, rate grand total, set point one, two, three, four, high, low, high, low, or we can turn it off. So you can see there's an awful lot of programmability you can do on this ProView meter. We're going to display total. And you'll notice, by the way, once again, one of the key features of the dual line display is this second line really helps you during the programming to remind you where you are. So if I went off and got a cup of coffee and I came back here, I would know that, yep, I've got the little display and I'm displaying it, I'm setting it up for display total. So hit enter. We'll skip over the display intensity and go right back to the, the main display. Now you'll notice that right now we are totalizing down here. 
We're at almost 200,000 gallons, and up above, we're displaying rate. So rate and total. Now down below, we're actually in the overflow mode. So what this is indicating is we are displaying 278,457,000 gallons. So the ProView can actually display up to nine digits for total. And I should also, while I'm talking about that, mention that we can also program the ProView so it can be set up for non-resettable total. So there really are quite a lot of features in here specifically designed for flow rate and total. But back to the meter. So basically what's happening is it's got rate and total going back and forth. Another really nice feature with regards to flow, flow uh, applications is one, we can program a relay to be a sampling relay. So that let's say every 100,000 gallons you want to take a sample, you could program a relay so every 100,000 gallons the relay would open for some predetermined amount of time, say three or four seconds, take a sample, and then close back out again. Another thing we talked about earlier is we can do open channel flow measurement. So we can display open, open channel flow and uh, total. And by the way, that's where the non-resettable total really becomes useful, is you can program one of those totals to be non-resettable. So there really are a whole lot of features on this uh, ProView meter and uh, it really, really is a very powerful product. And we think it is, is in fact, the most powerful uh, rate totalizer on the market today. And I think that once you use it, you will see that too. So we encourage you, next time you have an application for flow rate and total, why not try the ProView? Mm -hmm.